firstly, describe your journey to the final. Uh, I think like most teams that get to a cup final, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. So a uh, few relatively straightforward wins, a uh, good 6-0 win against Redditch cross away, um, but then some real difficult games. Uh, I think we won one on penalties after coming back from 2-1 down with 10 men. Uh, we won another one with a penalty in the last minute for a handball. So yeah, real roller coaster. How has the preparation gone for your side ahead of this final? Uh, honestly, I don't think it could have gone better. Um, the boys are all switched on. Uh, I had them all around my house last night, made sure they didn't get into trouble last night, made sure they're all nice and early this morning. But yeah, prep's gone really well. We've had a few good wins the last few weeks, so boys are feeling confident. How do you think your team will get on today? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know much about Alton Orion. Um, they're not from around our neck of the woods. They're not far away, but I don't know them too well. I know they're a good side. Um, if they're switched on and they, they do what I ask them to do, I think we'll be all right. And lastly, tell us how important it is for Empire Ambush to have reached the Sunday Amateur Cup final. Uh, genuinely, it's massive. Um, I've got a few lads in the team that have been this far before with other teams. This is one of the biggest cups for Coventry and the Coventry League, so this is huge for us. Describe your journey to the final. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've played some good teams. Most teams have been top of the league when we've played them, um, from when we've looked at in the research lab. Um, other than that, it's been we've had to travel quite a fair uh, way, like the semi-finals in Kidderminster, um, so obviously that's a challenge in itself. How has the preparation gone for your side ahead of this final? Yeah, it's gone well. Um, obviously because of the bad weather we've been playing a lot of games most of the time, so we've had, I think we played Tuesday last week, we've had two games in midweek coming up, so we've had a lot to focus on, obviously trying to chase the league as well, so we've had a good year all round. How do you think your team will get on today? I'm confident. Um, We've, we've, as I said, we've played teams that have been top of their, the league at the time, so uh, there's nothing to be afraid of for us, it's just in, enjoy the day really. And lastly, tell us how important it is for Alton Orient to have reached the Sunday Amateur Cup final. Oh, it's massive. Um, in terms of our league, I think, from what I remember, only two teams have got there. Um, our league are loving us at the minute, so it's been good for that, and obviously the players enjoy it, so we don't get to go on a pitch as good as this very often. So. Talk us through what was an incredible match for your side. And listen, it was a tough, tough first half. Could have gone either way. Um, difficult penalty decision. Game turned their way towards the end of the second half. End of the first half, we got the goal just before the second half. That uh, turned the tide for us. We went in pretty high into the half time. Good team talking, the boys. Knew if we press second half, we could probably. Pop 
across the game. Um, average age of the team was about 22, so we knew we had the legs, uh, and it turned out it was that way in the end. So comfortable win, but you know, fans got to take credit to the guys. They, they gave us a difficult game. You've already alluded to it, but how crucial was that goal on the stroke of half time for your side? It's massive. And I always say to the lads, there's two periods of the game that's most important. The last five minutes of the first half, first five minutes of the second half. Games are won in those five minutes. Um, so just to get that goal going into the second half, it changes the team talk, changes the dynamic in the changing room, it changed the game. So it was 2-1 after 60 minutes and then suddenly it was 5-1 after 70. What did you make of that attacking display as a manager and as a player? Uh, well, as a manager, um, I know I've got two lads up front, Rocky and Leon, who work and work and work. And we have a particular style of play. When they work hard, the guys behind them work hard as well. And that pays off nine times out of ten. We've been behind quite a lot of games this year, uh, or we've come from uh, joint positions because of that style of play. I think it was a uh, lads pressing, really. I would say a lot of goals come from two different strikers, but pressing from the whole team and the team performance, like, that, that makes the goals. Like, so we've got to be looking at lads in the back as well. And obviously all the Empire Ambush players played well, but I don't want to embarrass him, but there was a standout performer today in Liam. What did you make of his performance? Uh, listen, he, he's done it all season. I can't argue he's top goal scorer for a reason. Uh, he leads from the front. He's pretty much, you know, he's like a club captain to be honest with you. Uh, the lads listen to him, they respect him, and they know he's going to get goals. And he's got a hat-trick in the final half. And on top of that, Liam, describe your cup final experience. I bet you couldn't have dreamt that when you woke up this morning. Well, no, I knew that uh, both, both uh, well, our whole team really, we've all got goals in it for a young squad. A lot of average age, like Lee like said, about 23, 24. So not, not many old lads in the team. We've got the legs towards the end of the second half, end of the first half. I know we can always get goals, but didn't think it was going to happen. So, good game enough. And lastly, how important is it for Empire Ambush to have won the Sunday Amateur Cup final? We, I think I said it in the pre-notes, uh, we sat down at the beginning of the season and talked about what we wanted to do this year. League is important to us, we want to we want to get back-to-back -back promotions, but we chose the Birmingham Cup as the main cup we wanted to win. Uh, one, because of the kudos that comes with it, it's a big cup, a lot of teams enter it, um, but you know, to, to represent commentary and go back and say we've won this cup for them. And, um, Sorry, celebrate.